Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of Insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian and every other day we bring to you the key news stories and data points that move container markets and hence your business. Today it's Friday, so that means Fundamentals Friday at Exchange, where we look at some overarching fundamental trends that move uh, the shipping industry. Um, let me quickly share my screen to give you a little bit more guidance of what I'm talking about. Um, two core uh, topics that I would love to um, discuss today. One more on the demand side for containerized shipping um, and the other one more on the supply side. First off, let's look at China. Um, just yesterday, um, some new interesting uh, data about uh, China's uh, trade activities. That means both import and export volumes or volumes by value actually um, were published and they reveal some very interesting trends. First off, um, we've had the, uh, the, the um, in the fourth straight month of um, both import and export um, decline. So overall, um, uh, the trade activity keeps decreasing. Um, for exports, that means more than 8% year-over-year decrease, while imports fares a little bit uh, better. Um, in focus here, of course, um, global invent inventory um, levels. Um, the industry essentially expected uh, that inventory levels would be drawn down um, from their uh, high COVID levels throughout the first half uh, year of 2023, so that afterwards we would be able to see a demand uptake as, for example, wholesalers and retailers in the US and in Europe, so the main consumption centers, so to speak, um, would replenish their inventories. Um, however, this has not been the case, and inventory levels uh, remain stubbornly high as uh, sort of uh, uh, sales have also slumped in those, in those regions. So we haven't really seen a deep driver of demand activity there, and hence um, sort of exports from China um, suffer. Um, and the other focus here, of course, um, more looking at China itself, Chinese home prices and consumer confidence really dampen um, imports, and that's why import keep, imports keep, keep falling almost in line with exports. Some notable exceptions here, um, some categories, for example, white level goods, refrigerators, uh, microwaves, et cetera, um, have increased year over year in, in August um, after a significant dip in July. So maybe that was also a little bit of a catch up activity there. Impact on container trade, of course, um, for us, that means this is an, a further indicator that overall demand uptake or a, a significant rebound on the demand side is not really on the horizon. Um, we still continue to see dark clouds, uh, even and especially through this peak season or this alleged peak season. And now on the supply side, I brought two quotes here, one from AlphaLine and one from Analytica that both sort of push into the same direction, essentially um, arguing that overcapacity keeps growing um, there is a, a significant injection of liner capacity. So new um, large vessels uh, are basically delivered into the market and also cascade down into um, the smaller trades. So essentially um, the average uh, vessel size on every trade keeps increasing um, at the moment. And that means a more capacity uh, for containers. Um, the measures that liners have taken so far, namely blank sailings, withdrawal of capacity, slow steaming, et cetera, have not been enough uh, to stem that, that influx of capacity. Um, and that means that rates will continue to come under pressure, um, uh, especially um, seeing that there's no demand uh, recovery on the, on the other side. And so um, it's a simple law of supply and demand um, prices will have to come down and will have to sink. Um, and of course, the question is, uh, where is the level of variable costs under which carriers do not have an incentive to deploy uh, their vessels anymore uh, because they would be subsidizing every container shipped. Now, that's it from us, from me for today. Um, thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a fantastic start into the weekend. Uh, it's super sunny here in Hamburg and I hope it's the same um, for you. So enjoy your weekend. Take care and see you on Monday.